Renee Romeo and today I'm going to teach you the correct way to mow your lawn. Now I've been mowing my lawn for over 20 years and the reason why I do that is so that I can get out into my yard and quickly address issues if they come up. And issues like diseases with trees and shrubs to water issues with water collection in certain parts of the yard that maybe need to be addressed or simply animals digging around in your yard and ruining your root systems for trees and shrubs. So this is something that you really need to be aware of and if you hire out a yard company to take care of your lawn service for you, you won't be walking your lawn on a weekly basis and really getting at addressing these issues immediately. So join me and I'll show you exactly how to get started and show you how much I really enjoy doing this task that I have once a week. Now let me talk quickly about my lawnmower. My lawnmower is a Toro and I really like it. It's lightweight, but it does have a self-propelled feature and that self-propelled feature helps you if you've got little hills in, around your yard that you need just a little extra boost to get up. Uh, sometimes these machines, even though they're lightweight, they do get a little heavy on you if you don't have the self-propelled model, so I'm recommending that you go with that. Um, beyond that, there are two handlebars here that need to be compressed as you're holding down. And what I've done, I've taken my self-propelled handle and I've actually taped that directly in place. It makes it a lot easier for me so I'm not squeezing the whole time really hard. Uh, as I'm going over the lawn, my hands don't get quite as tired if you go ahead and tape that in place. Now I know it's a safety issue, but I'm very careful with it and I, every time I take a turn, I make sure that I pick up the front wheels that are constantly turning so that I don't wear that mechanism out. So that's just a, a tip that I, that I do that you might want to try. Uh, beyond that, this other lever, lever you're going to hold in place and that's what you're going to do when you start it and this needs to be comp compressed the entire time that you're mowing. So it does save quite a bit in compressing two levers versus just one. Now I have 10W30 motor oil. This is an all season oil. And this is what I use to fill up my little oil tank. And so you have to be kind of careful when you do this. You really do need to have your oil level at the right level. And when you pull the dipstick out, there's a little mark on here and mine looks perfect. So the oil level is going to go up right to that little mark and the mark usually has an arrow on it so you can tell. So I don't need to add oil this time. But I do need to uh, add a little bit of gas, and the gasoline that I use is just a regular unleaded gas. It's not mixed, it goes straight into the gas tank, and I'll go ahead and fill it. Make sure you put your cap back on, you don't want to make a mistake leaving that off. So that's ready to go. Now all these lawnmowers have this really neat system for raising and lowering the lawnmower. So you can see, I have mine on the highest setting, but as you go, you can, you can kind of put these anywhere you want and just lower the whole machine all the way down if you're mowing in the fall you want it really really short or if during the summertime like I have it I keep mine on the absolute highest setting here so that uh, I can go ahead and get that nice uh, four and a half inch height out of the lawnmower that's from the bottom of the ground to the bottom of the mower and that's exactly what you're going to do with yours now the reason why I keep my mower on its tallest setting is so that I keep the grass at three and a half to four and a half inches tall. Now that's really the magic measurement to avoid disease, avoid grubs, and really prevent weeds from growing in between all those blades because the blades will actually keep the dirt shaded and that prevents the weeds from growing. So that's exactly what you're going to want to do is keep your grass nice and tall and you'll have a great looking lawn. Oh, and by the way, if you mow your lawn too short, you're not doing your lawn any favors because it won't be able to grow that beautiful deep root system that'll hang onto water and keep your yard green when it's very, very hot out. So it makes it heat tolerant too. So I'm recommending that every time you go out and mow that you have a six inch visor on and this is really to protect your face from UV rays. And I also have on SPF 50 sunscreen. Uh, whether it's a cloudy day or a sunny day, I always apply that just for safety. So you should do that too. Um, so now I, I'm going to show you the way that I go about mowing the lawn and I do this every four weeks, I do a rotation. So the first week I'll mow a straight line, the second week I'll mow another straight line opposite direction from that. 
then I'll do a diagonal and then I'll do a diagonal in the other direction. So what you're going to wind up with is just this really great looking hashtag in the yard and it looks great. It looks like a golf course type design. So you really want to avoid mowing on a wet day. A wet day will create clumping in that blade area of the lawnmower and really cause it to seize up. So you really do want to avoid that. Let the lawn dry out a little bit before you actually mow. And then as you go along and you're following in all of the grooves of the wheels, don't do that. You don't want to follow in the groove of the wheel of the previous cut. And the reason why is because you'll wind up creating ruts in your lawn and making it a very uneven surface. So I'm just demonstrating to you here about the width of the lawnmower. So if I have one wheel here and one wheel here on the pass going this way, when I turn and come back, I'm going to move that wheel over onto the previous path so that way I don't follow the exact same rut that I created the first time through. And you're going to do the exact same thing so that you don't get ruts in your lawn. So what I'm going to do now is I'll just demonstrate for you how I go ahead and make that beautiful hashtag. So if you follow these principles, you'll have a beautifully lush, dense looking lawn compared to all of your neighbors who are mowing way too short, I'm sure. You really do have control over your yard if you mow your own lawn. And I hope you enjoyed uh, this little tidbit because I think this is really important. And you know what? I get a second workout today. So that's the most important thing. So this is Renee Romeo. Thank you so much for watching this little info project and uh, happy mowing.